Welcome to Miss Milka's Craft Time. I'm Miss Milka and today I'll show you how to create DIY non-slip socks. Since we're spending more time at home in our socks and in our PJs, this should add a little grip to the bottom of your socks. So let's get started. For this craft, you'll need a pair of socks. They don't necessarily have to be new or matched. Just make sure you've removed all the lint balls, um, any strings from the socks prior to starting. You'll need some puffy fabric paint. You can purchase this at any craft store, such as Michael's, Hobby Lobby, anywhere craft so supplies are sold. I like to purchase different colors, but it's totally up to you. You'll need two spatulas. You can get this from your kitchen. Just make sure they're not greasy. And you'll need a scrap piece of paper, an envelope, um, a napkin, and I'll show you later in the video what the scrap piece of paper will be used for. Now that you have all your materials laid out, what you're gonna do, pick up the first sock and you're gonna slide it over the spatula. And just make sure it's nice and flat. We're not gonna put any paint on the heel because you know we need the heel to walk. So just make sure it's nice and flat like this. All right, and then you're gonna pick up your paint. And I like to dab it on a scrap piece of paper just to make sure a lot of it doesn't ooze out at once. Told you the scrap piece of paper would come in handy. So we'll just dab that on here. All right, so now it's perfect and we're ready to work. All right, so I like to do dots because it's simple. All right, so let's add some dots. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna alternate with my dots. My first row is gonna be red and then my next row will be green. I know the holidays just passed, but I still like the red and green mixture combination. So I'm going to leave some space for the green dots. And you can um, do stars, you can write your name or your initials, it's totally up to you. But just remember, the more paint you put on the sock, the longer it takes to dry. So now I'm going to go in with the green. I'm gonna tap this just to make sure it's not too much. See, a lot came out, so let me tap it one more time. Okay. okay and I'm gonna add another row at the bottom. And the spatula just gives you a little grip. It's easier to hold when you're creating your designs. All right, so now we have some grips at the bottom of the first sock. And we'll do the same thing for the next sock. So let me do the next one. Pick up the spatula. We'll cover it, make sure it's nice and flat. And again, I'm gonna start with my red fabric paint. And I'm gonna do about five dots like I did on the first one. And this paint, if you get if you get this paint on your skin, it's fine because it washes right off. Okay, let's go in with the green. And then every so often, you should um, tap the paint on the scrap paper just to get any air bubbles out that have formed. And this craft is pretty simple. Um, a seven-year-old can do it. My daughter, she added some grip to her socks over the winter break, so it's pretty simple. And we're gonna add our last row. And then for the last row, I'm just gonna draw like a squiggly, squiggly line. Let's do something different. All right. It's gonna be a little extra and add something else to it.
So now that you've finished decorating your socks, just put them, to, put them aside and allow them to dry for 24 hours. And there you have it, DIY non-slip socks. See you next time. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and like this video. Bye.